Hello my delicious co-creators, Lilu here from Amsterdam in Holland. Uh, wanted to do this video blog from here. I uh, was very uh, touched by the declaration of Meryl Streep. So the actress uh, just read this in French and shared it on Facebook in French. Um, but she was really describing to a T how it feels like right now and things that I think a lot of us don't want to accept anymore. Um, she describes with Brio in, in few lines uh, how in these days, you know, we're, we're frustrated and irritated by some people. We don't want to make the effort anymore when others don't make the effort. And I think there's a lot of wisdom into this. I think uh, that's part of self-love, of self-respect, to not accept uh, uh, um, um, Sometimes there is those, you know, criticism, uh, this impatience of others, the critics, the, 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 the reviews or the advices or the cynicism or the impatience or the no smiles at us when we really give it all as much as we can and we make a lot of efforts and you clearly feel in front uh, of you or those friends or this partner or this boss or what have you is not making the same effort and I know we're supposed to really uh, uh, be good and be loving and be all the time compassionate but I really do think it's a waste of time to try to make things work when the others is just not into it and not making the effort at some point you got to be like what I mean why would I stay in this situation um, um, why would I continue to smile at a person that doesn't smile to me back kind of thing and uh, I don't think we're, we're it's our calling to, 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 to really do that when you know that there's a lot of people ready to share ready to express and to support you as much as you're supporting them it's not doesn't mean being unconditional right it just means uh, honoring who we are loving who we are, respecting it, and and giving ourselves a break and, <laughs> and wanting to to create and co-create and be with others that are like-minded people so that we can be uplifted too, we can uplift each other and create amazing things for this planet. Support it, help it if needed, be there. Because the truth is that if we're dragged down by our partners, our friends, or who have you, then we're not, we can't really have the resource and tap into our own power and be there for others can we i don't think we can and only by being surrounded by others and first of all of course loving ourselves honoring ourselves and being best friends with ourselves and and, and being okay with our company alone by ourselves single or not single friends or no friends work or no work you know like unconditionally loving ourselves then we can really, whether we're alone or with some other people around, at least create a life that suits us, that uplifts us, that is us, where we're part of it and we're loving it and appreciating it. Of course, there is those people that we have to deal with in our lives that sometimes really get on our nerves and it's just like, oh my God, I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? And um, well, then, I think uh, when our heart is open and we see that through compassion, we make different choices. We observe it rather than being part of it. And we decide not to be part of it and not hear it as personal criticism because this is, this is terrible. I used to so much take this on. I can feel very um, guilty for things I shouldn't feel guilty for. I'm quite manipulatable. I'm quite, uh, you know, uh, wanting to please and be okay and fear of judgments of others. But this is no longer serving me. I'm ready and I think I have just jumped into this new step of evolution of understanding they've got amazing tools that I've been on this journey for the past 14 years, interviewing people, going to seminars, reading books, enjoying sharing, and that uh, life it has, like I've transformed, I've changed, I've upgraded, I've opened my heart, and now 
there is no reason to fear or at least the future uh, won't be the same simply that the past has been. There's no reason to think that. Um, the, the, the tools and the evolution and the, this journey of evolution is, is, um, is being consolidated, is being uh, changed and uh, supported through, through accepting also um, of this journey, accepting the changes, accepting and, and embracing those tools. Um, I really do believe there is a, a work to be done on um, on, um, on on a, on, a, on a brain level on a on a, how do I say this on a body physical level additionally to to the heart. Uh, I think uh, it's 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 a very it's it's like not very it's just essential to open a heart, and then after that there is another aspect that. Um, consists of also doing the mechanical work, some mechanical work to also keep on opening that so our heart can keep on opening too. I don't think it's just by being in the flow that, that everything dissolves and disappears. There is some real work to do and there are some tangible things to do. And uh, we attract that. Like there's no recipes or f for me, I really like right now epigenetics and... But it's not uh, for everyone, and there's some people choosing LLP, NLP, or Enneagram, or tapping, or um, what have you. But there is something to do, to, I mean, some work to do to release past things. And oh my God, and having the most beautiful journey, the, the life that we all deserve, this paradise on earth that is totally accessible and that is there because it's by changing our perception on things that then life opens up. That's it. Uh, so to change our thoughts and to open our heart, it, of course there's some work. And at the same time, it's really natural. So it's just about being ourselves. Um, I'm tremendously ex um, excited and acceptant, more and more acceptant of this journey. Not knowing exactly where I'm going, but knowing I'm perfectly where I'm supposed to be every time. And uh, there is some cleanup to do, my beautiful co-creators. There's some things, people that have not been treating you right, not accepting who you are just the way you are, and you have not been totally yourself with these people. I'm not going to say more, but you know, this is something to look at. All right, my delicious co-creators, I miss you already. This is the end of this video. Um... I love you, I wish you an amazing day uh, and that you're fully supporting yourself, honoring yourself fully. Bless you, big, big kisses, bye.